What are we doing tonight, Big Dog? Big Dog. Bro, bro professor? Cop that. Sorry. Uh, that's all right. Tonight we are doing the lockdown electric chair sweep. Thank you, Eddie Bravo. <laughs> Boiler Gracie. Anyone's knees going to be exploded tonight? 50% of the knees. So everyone's going to lose one knee. <laughs> use a very similar leg position here okay so actually we're going to start with like knee shield here all right i'm up and what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and get an arm drag okay well, i really I just need to get outside of this arm so i can do this by coming for an underhook and throwing it over to get to this position this is where i'm trying to get to or i can go for like here he goes to push my knee down here and i use this as an arm arm drag to try and get to the back. Now obviously I can go straight for the back attack here but I can also set up a very similar position. So I'm going to go around this way. Okay so from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my hands. I'm going to go over with the other side here and then I'm going to lock my triangle to the outside and I'm going to rehook. So instead of doing this on the inside like we did for the lockdown we're going to do this on the outside and we're going to set up the truck. From here, I'm going to grab onto his opposite uh, ankle here, and I'm going to grab his hip. I'm going to start to sit back, pulling the ankle towards my face and his hip in here. If he feels really heavy as he does it, I'm also going to use my knees to bring him on top. So I'm going to go here, and I bring my knees in here, okay? I want his hips sitting on my torso here, all right? We're going to, we're going to do two sequences from here tonight. First, we're going to do a leg attacks, and then we're going to do upper body attacks, okay? The first one from here we're going to do is the banana split. So I'm going to reach for the inside of the knee here with an S grip. See how both of Jake's knees are pointing towards him? This is where I'm going to get the best split here. Okay, this is going to put a lot more pressure on the hip joint rather than stretching the muscles, all right? If I do this with his knee pointing this way, then I can get, still probably get the submission, but lots of people are a bit more flexible that way. All right? So if I can't get here, because his knee's turned inwards, I'm going to hold the ankle, and I'm going to throw my elbow over the foot, and now I can stretch that way a bit better. Okay? So I've got those two options. The other one I've got here is I can reach for here. So I'm going to like curl my knees towards my chest so I can grab onto the toes. From here, I want to be pulling this down and my shin is driving into the calf here. And if he doesn't tap to that, then his tendons and his knees are going to get stretched. I can also kind of add force to this by kicking in as I'm pulling as well. Just be careful, if you reach with your inside arm, then you can also get armbar, which would be a shame because you've just got to this awesome attacking position and you've got yourself submitted. If at any time you want to get out of here, all you need to do to take the back is just stretch your leg away and it's easy to climb over to the back as well. Okay, so we're going to go either a knee shield, you can dig for the underhook or they can push down and I get outside this arm either way and I'm going to go over with the opposite arm to usual. Rather than attacking the back and building up my height from here, I'm going to start to go from here, triangle on the outside and rehook. Grab the ankle, pull at the hip, and bring the hips up on top of you, okay? From here, banana split, knees both facing towards Jake, and stretching out. From here, if he turns his knees in and I can't pull it out, I'm gonna bring my elbow over the top of the ankle, and I stretch this way. If at any time I see this foot is loose and I can start to get towards that, this is probably the easiest one to finish with any of them. But if I grab down here, Jake's ability to kick is quite strong and it's hard to finish. When I get to the toes, there's a whole lot more power in the submission. And if I want to at any time, I can kick out. You can even do this just with one foot, like a twister hook, stretch out and take the back. All right, let's here we go, guys. 